New South Wales may be the premier state, but when it comes to renewable energy, it's a clear underachiever. The state only produces 6% of its electricity from wind, solar or water. And when it comes to solar panels on homes, the state is actually going backwards. Here's state political reporter Bridget Glanville. Soaking up the sunshine, these solar panels at Ningen in the state's west are part of the country's biggest solar plant. It produces enough electricity to supply 33,000 homes and is a joint venture between the Commonwealth, state government and AGL. We believe that renewables will be part of the future matrix. You know, we have a view that we're moving forward into a carbon constrained future and that's why we actually put forward our own greenhouse gas policy. Part of that policy will see AGL close all existing coal-fired power stations by 2050. But while they're future-proofing, the New South Wales government is stuck in the past. New South Wales is at the bottom of the pack in terms of the Australian states on renewable energy. It's behind the pack in terms of generating renewable energy and the amount of solar on people's roofs. When it comes to generating energy from solar, wind and hydro, Tasmania tops the nation with 95% of its power coming from renewable sources. South Australia comes in next at 40%, Western Australia drops to 13%, Victoria is at 10% and Queensland comes in at 7 And New South Wales is the worst, with only 6% of its energy coming from renewable sources. And when it comes to solar panels on homes, only 10% of New South Wales households have solar panels, compared with nearly 25% in South Australia, which leads the nation. In wind alone, there's over $10 billion worth of investment projects ready to go. Uh, but the government is holding that investment back by having guidelines, in particular around wind farms, that are working against installing wind farms in New South Wales. The state government insists it's at the cutting edge of renewable energy. We've got about $5.3 billion worth of renewable projects that have already been approved by the planning system and we've got about another $7 billion in the pipeline to be delivered to New South Wales. The solar farm in Ningen remains the shining example of the possibilities of renewable energy. Bridget Glanville, ABC News.